Hey guys, it's Joette with BalloonCoach.com and today I'm doing a lunch and learn where we're talking about how to stay off ladders but still fill ceilings with beautiful air-filled balloons. Um, one of the reasons I encourage people to stay off ladders as much as possible is I know several people who've been injured when on ladders. Um, sometimes we're working really fast and we may slip and then we twist a knee, um, an ankle, and, and get hurt and then that reduces our time being able to work and serve our clients. So um, when at all possible, I do encourage people to stay off ladders if you don't have to use them. And then if you do have to use a ladder, please be careful with it because you can fall off of them. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about one of my favorite products and it's called the Click Click Magpole, Mag Mover, Magnets, and several other fun things that they have made to create awesome products for the balloon industry. And then also um, a lot of times you'll see their products in retail store establishments too. Um, and so the photo that you're seeing right here is what I call a wonderful beaded chandelier. Um, anytime you put something to the ceiling, rather than saying I'm going to put a foil balloon or an air fill balloon to the ceiling, I want you to practice using the word ceiling chandelier. Why? Because ceiling chandelier sounds much more valuable than um, a balloon to the ceiling. All right. So oftentimes part of our job is educating our clients because our clients are going to say I need helium balloon bouquets our clusters in our room to bring color and you can say you know what i have a great way with another solution that's going to even make more of an impact for you so this was at balloon boss summit several years ago where we used the linking balloons going up to the magnet using the ceiling um, magnetic spots from the acoustical tile um, in between there so i love these huge uh, holographic stars from vitalik and then we added some link a loons to it and then uh, put the magnet on top so it makes a really really cool design all right so what happened why i decided to do this training on the click click magpole is um, a couple of weeks ago several of my new members to balloon boss mastermind that live in florida came to my warehouse i built a 600 square foot warehouse in my backyard several years ago and now i hold training there from time to time for people who are in my program so this is a thumbs up we got from the training and absolutely fell in love with the magpole when i showed it to them we took this 12 balloon flower topiary that they created and put it up to the ceiling into the still um, beams that are in my warehouse. And then this yeah, right behind it for graduation, that is actually not helium, but it is a small ring magnet, small ring magnet, which I'll show you guys more of later on, is taped to the back of that balloon design. And then another ring magnet on the other side of the fabric backdrop and voila you've got something in place so that's one of those extra bonuses today is that sometimes when we're dealing with fabric backdrops um we're like how are we going to attach the balloons there i don't want to have to use helium and have them standing up i want to save money and so you can actually just use the small ring magnets um and then if you don't want to use two you can just put a washer or something else on the back of your balloons and then the magnet on the other side and it's like magic um, and so since we had other members come and they love the magnet system, I'm like, okay, I need to get out and I need to share these tips um, with everybody. So um, what we did for this foil balloon is we actually used a hang tab pro um, and that's from Click Click and put that on top for the attachment point. And I'll be showing you guys more about that um, in just a few minutes. So the Click Click Magnetic Hanging System was able to help us put 100 balloons to the ceiling at the Civic Center. And it transformed that really what could have been a blah space into something magical for our Moulin Rouge um, night in Paris theme. And um, what I loved about this is so many people, when they walk in the room, they're like, wow, this is amazing. Man, that had to take you forever up on your ladder because that's what people envision, that you spent that time going up and down a ladder. So, nope, I just used my Magpole instead. And um, photos like this really help people be able to understand what you can do to a space. So for those of you in Balloon Boss Mastermind, this is one of the photos that I've put in the marketing materials for you guys to be able to use in your marketing and to share with. 
And I know a couple of pe people have mentioned that they're new. Um, I'm Joette Giardina. I was Party People Celebration Company in Lakeland, Florida from 2003 to 2014. And in 2015 till now, I've been serving as ballooncoach.com, helping balloon professionals around the world grow their business with the information of what I've learned over the years, plus all my mentors from going to training. And for those of you who are moms or dads, um, this was my daughter um, pretty Early on when I started in the balloon business, getting stuck in a minivan with a bunch of balloons to go outside, right? And this is my daughter now at 23. So I understand the trials and tribulations of trying to raise a family or to balance other things in your life along with your balloon business. Um, one of the reasons I put this van and trailer up is sometimes we forget about how magnets can help us inside of our trailers and our vans. So a lot of times the ceiling and the sides of our vans are metallic or metal inside. So you can actually take like a bag of balloons and magnet it to the top of your van or to the side wall. And the same thing with the trailer and it helps maximize your space. So don't forget to use your magnets inside of your trailers and your vehicles. So for those of you joining us live today, I would love for you to type into the chat. Do you currently own a click, click Magpul or magnets? So you can put pole or um, magnets or um, other things or not yet. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> That's awesome. So for those of you who are on, let me know not yet. Um, people have both. Um, some people have the magnets, but they haven't used them yet. All right. Some people are using both. Awesome. So for those of you who haven't used the product yet, I really want to help you understand how it's helped me and how it helps me make more money. And then for those of you who do have it, maybe use it a couple of ways differently than what you do now. So as we go through this process, feel free to give another tip for those of you who have used the product in the past and, and currently own it. I would love to hear from you. So ceiling chandelier. So right now, everybody type into the chat. So I know you're listening. I want you to type in the word ceiling chandeliers and I want to have you use it in a phrase, right? I want you to type in the word ceiling chandelier so I know that you're paying attention. But the reason that I want you to practice the word ceiling chandeliers is again about the value, all right? Ceiling chandeliers. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Patty. All right. This is just 36 inch and 20 inch foil balloons, air filled, hanging from a ceiling, right? But how much does your client want to pay you for a balloon that they kind of feel like might be cheap, right? Because they see foil balloons at the Dollar Tree and things like that. Typically, they don't see a 36 inch. But when you talk about this was for our local hospital, this is an account that um, when I bought my business in 2003, I would do every single year. And the awards banquet happens for people for their five year pen, 10, 15, 50 years, that kind of thing. And so every person at the hospital comes to this event every five years, right? Depending on when you hired on. So what was cool is I would go and have one meeting with them. And for the next five years, I would do the exact same job. Let me just say that one more time. I pitched the idea once and for the next five years, I do the exact same job. And for some of you who are creatives, you got into the balloon industry because you love to be an artist, this might sound boring to you, but it's money. And the best thing about these ceiling chandeliers is every year we would take them off the ceiling, we would take the loop line off of our magnets, <laughs> put our magnets in a drawer, and then take all of these balloons fully inflated put them in a bag and then put them up to the ceiling in my warehouse. All right. So these balloons lasted me for five years. I charged them the exact same amount of money or even sometimes a little bit more over those five years to use those exact same balloons over and over again. It was cha-ching. All right. So one of the cool things, if you do have a warehouse space, um, where you can store things is when you do these air fill chandeliers is you can often reuse them over and over or you could um, even use it where you're doing the H taping and things like that and throwing it into organic displays uh, later on. So um, somebody said brilliant. Yes, um, I'm all about making money. <laughs> and so the question comes up, what do you charge for something like this? Typically a 20 inch balloon from the ceiling is at least $15. 
and then a 25 um like the 36 inch ones the bigger ones um, are typically at least $25. So a three foot foil is typically um, $25 minimum and a um, 20 inch and smaller or like the 18 inch rounds, those are at least 15 to go up to the ceiling. Now, after all those events, I always make sure to collect all the magnets and take it back. I do know people who charge much more than that even. Um, and so you can also look into how tall is the ceiling, how long is it gonna take you, and feel free to add additional charges into that, but that's the base price, um, 15 and 25. Great question. All right, and then um, with this design, this was going up to a 19 foot ceiling. And so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna show you my Magpul. I'm gonna stop my share for a second so that you can see this. Stop my share. All right, guys. So this is my click click mag pole. All right. Um, it has what's called a mag mover. And so I want to make sure that you see that this is an individual piece. This is the single head mag mover, the single head mag mover. And the single head mag mover has a place for you to put your magnet and it has a place for you to take down your magnet. One of my favorite magnets by click click is their large ring magnet because it's easier to see when you're on a 19 foot ceiling like what was in the picture I just showed you. So the magnet just goes right up to the steel, um, the metal that is in most um, acoustic tile ceilings. And not only does it have one ring, but it has two rings, just like a keychain. So when it's sitting up on the ceiling, you're simply going up with a corkscrew and pulling it down to retrieve it. And then to put it up on the ceiling, one of the things that people struggle with is a little bit on this is you're going to hold the hoop over here. You're going to bring this flat into the top and make sure that your ring goes on either side. So now your ring is coming here and your magnet is fitting flat on this to go up to any metal surface and to go up and click. So I'll show you guys and act like the ceiling is my stapler. <laughs> All right. And so you just go up to the ceiling and ta-da. And then when you're done, at the end of the day, you're going back up and you're pulling it off the ceiling. And as you can see, that's got a lot of strength. Sometimes you might have to slide it off to get it to come down. I just couldn't hold on to this really tight. So again, when you're purchasing the products from Click Click, the Magpul is sold separately from the single head. And then you just twist this on it and you're good to go. The other thing that I sometimes like to do is use my double head magnet. And I'm going to be showing you some fabric in a minute. What's nice about the dual head magnet mag mover, dual head mag mover, is it swivels. So when you're going up, the corkscrew is in the middle. When you're coming down, you can move the corkscrews out to take them out. So I highly encourage when you're using this product, um, Sometimes you may want to have just one swivel in as you go up and go ahead and leave this one out. So if you have an error and you need to move things over, you've got it. Um, but I just know people sometimes get frustrated having the corkscrew as they're trying to install because sometimes they'll accidentally snag on things. So this is the dual mag mover. All right. And then they also have a multi one, which I'm seeing where I put it at. I'll find it in a minute. Uh, but the multi one is even longer and with it it um, allows you to adjust things um, so that you can put up things that are a little bit wider all right so um, where do you purchase your magnets magnets are purchased typically through balloon distributors and so what i would encourage you to do is um, whoever your favorite balloon um, distributor is go to them and then type in the word c l i k dash c l i k so it doesn't have the c in it so for click click it's c l i k and i'm going to go ahead and put that into our chat while we're talking because that's just going to make life easier so chat is click dash click dot com and when you go to that website you can actually see who their distributors are but also, if you don't happen to see your favorite balloon distributor listed, just ask them. Some of the top balloon distributors that I love to support because they support Balloon Boss Mastermind and they support Balloon 
um, Boss Summit in Orlando is Brody's in Illinois, um, having a party in New York, um, LA Balloons in California, and Toy World in um, Miami. So those are four of the top balloon distributors that I love that carry this product. Toy World, having a party, LA Balloons, and Brody's. All right, great question, guys, appreciate it. All right. You can also install fabric or plastic wrap. Um, this is an actual plastic roll. Um, people wanted to have that carnival look and instead of my sheer fabric, they wanted something follow, um, solid. So I just grabbed the long, the 36 inch, I believe it is, table rolls that you get. And we rolled that out on the floor and we used our mag poles to go up. The thing with doing something like this is I am gonna warn you is that especially when you're working with plastic and fabric is it can get heavy really quick. So one of the tricks that we did in this installation is as we went up to the middle, we put multiple magnets. And so I think what I did is I brought my red fabric up first. And rather than just having one attachment point, I put two magnets up. So I had, let me show you visually. And I know you don't see me really big, but I just want to make sure you understand. I ended up using two magnets. And I would go up at the same time to help with the weight distribution. I also own, I think, six bag poles now, <laughs> but I always made sure I had two with me. Um, and so I had a, one team member on one magnet and the other team member on the other magnet, and they both went up at the same time and put it to the ceiling and then had the string going to the fabric. That helps distribute the weight to be able to hold something that's a little bit heavier. Um, so we put up that whole section of red and then strung it out to the sides. And then we went up with two magnets for the middle for the white. And again, just to help out with that amount of weight is really nice. All right. Um, and working with fabric is an amazing way to accent things, but it also can be a pain to store. So don't feel like you have to do fabric, but when somebody asks, you can. And then this is back to that event where we did 100 balloons from the ceiling. What you will see with this is that they're not all hanging at the exact same level. And that was the same thing with the stars that I showed you earlier, is one of those tips when working with magnets and making ceiling chandeliers out of your balloons is you want to do them at different levels um, and it just gives more visual interest to the space. All right, if you're ever working on an open beam ceiling, um, a lot of times people will tell me they've gone to a venue and it's especially for weddings um, that might be like in a barn or um, other venues that don't have the uh, drop ceilings with the acoustic that has the metal running through or some of the industrial places that don't have uh, metal and you've got these open wood beams. People are like, Joette, how are we going to attach to those? There's nothing magnetic. So what I'm going to do is talk to you about that banana kit. So if you've ever purchased the banana kit, type it into the chat and say, I have it or put banana kit. Um, Cause I'd like to know if anybody has this um, currently that is on with me live. All right, Oops, sorry, I just beat up the microphone guys. <laughs> All right, so the banana kit. I don't see anybody saying they've got it yet. Has anybody purchased the banana kit? All right. So again, you may not need it in your area. You may not have the open beams, but what's cool is it comes with directions. And um, basically what you're gonna do is you're going to use a ball weight and you're gonna hoop things through. And honestly, until you actually go and do it, it's not gonna make a ton of sense to you. But what I'm gonna do is just let you know that there are instructions right here. And when you ever get to that point, then just send me a private message and be like, Joette, help. <laughs> I'm doing this install and I don't remember how that all works. And can you help me out? But basically what happens is you attach this to the top of your mag pole rather than your um, mag mover. It switches on just like everything else. And it allows you to go over that beam and it allows you to take this ball and what ends up happening is this ball can then go through this hoop <laughs> and you can end up with an attachment point hanging in the middle of the ceiling um, wherever you want. So you attach a line to it and now what you have is this cap and this cap is hanging down from the ceiling 
And like I said, Click Click has a lot of different magnets. One of them is a round magnet. And the round magnet then goes up into the cap, or they, they call it a hat. So now what you've done is you've been able to take the banana, go over the beam, you've been able to rig a line coming down from the ceiling, and now that rig point is up there wherever you want it, and now you're able to take the round magnet and put it up into the hat. And what's great is at the end, when you take this down, you're able to pull the line down and bring your hat back with you at the end at your strike. So we have used this on an, um, a location where um, people were having prom and it was not magnetic, but we did have the wooden beams to go with. And um, it is one of those unique situations that you just have to read the directions when it's time to do it and practice a couple times, take some extra time to do it, um, but it's awesome. Um, so what I wanna show you with that, let's see, make sure I put my things back here so I don't lose them. Um, but like I said, they've got great directions to show you all that. I just wanted to make sure y'all know that there is that solution because sometimes we're like, oh my gosh, what do we do? Um, because we need something to be at a different level than what the beam's at and the beam's not magnet magnetic. So how do we attach to it? And it works out great. All right, so while we are on, I'm gonna show you these in my hand so you can just see them. This is the large ring magnet. What I love about this is a bigger area, so especially with fabric that has a higher weight, I like to use that. Um, do you have a picture of balloons on the banana hook? Yeah, no, the balloons don't actually go on the banana hook. The balloons actually just, just like any of those ceiling chandeliers that I had, what's gonna happen is that this is gonna be hanging from the ceiling and then you're putting your magnet under it to hold on to it. Um, I will look to see if I have a picture from that event later on, but I do not have it right this second. Um, but what it is, is just you've got this line coming down and you could actually even put it where that hat is like right up on the beam um, if you don't need it to hang down towards the middle. Um, but it's just a way to give you an attachment point on a non-metal ceiling. All right, so my favorite magnet is the large ring magnet because it's a little bit bigger. Um, and again, for heavier things, it's nice. The other thing that I like about it is on a tall ceiling, like when I was doing the 19 foot ceilings, is it's easier to see this bigger ring to pull down and it's removed a little bit from the ceiling. Another trick is if you're on a tall ceiling and this is even too small for you, you can put a cable tie there and make a loop with a cable tie to make it even bigger for you to be able to fish that off the ceiling. Then they have the regular ring magnet. So I'm just showing you them side by side to see the difference in the sizing. One is just a little bit smaller than the other. This I believe is a five pound and this is the 10 pound. Then they have the round ones that can hold up to 20 pounds. So it comes in their own little bag. And one of the tricks with those is you cannot pull them apart. They come with a piece of plastic in them. And the reason that piece of plastic is there is to help you not put your magnets together. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick. There's this piece of plastic that comes in with the round magnets. So you're going to put that piece of plastic on top of the head and then your other magnet here for storage. Now I'm able to pull those apart really easily where sometimes your staff may not know about that. And now that piece of plastic just disappeared on me. So I'm going to make sure I purposely put these in two separate places. All right. So now if your magnets are together and doesn't have that plastic, I can't pull them. Up. Oops, that one does have plastic. <laughs> I was going to show you I can't pull it apart. You typically cannot pull them apart um, if it doesn't have that plastic. You're going to need to twist them apart. And now I just accidentally did it not on purpose. Um, and so now it's like almost impossible to pull these apart. So you have to manipulate with them and twist them off versus trying to pull them apart. Again, it's a twist if you happen to lose your plastic piece. Um, so I'm putting that plastic piece back on. You want to watch your fingers when you do this because it really hurts when you pinch them between. <laughs> And now that plastic's there. And um, I always encourage people to store things back in bags. Another one of my favorite tools is what's called an e-bag. And these little bags 
come with handles. And a lot of times I'll put different pieces of equipment in there so that everything can be together that I want. So I can put like all my magnets and loop line and other things together. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Um, and then the miniature magnets, these little teeny ones, it looks like my ring. So I'm just gonna throw that on there so you can see for the size. These I don't encourage using for super tall ceilings because it's not super heavy. So on top of your Magpul, as you're putting your Magpul up, it's gonna have a tendency to want to fall off. Um, some people absolutely love them. Um, I usually typically use them on a little bit of the shorter ceilings uh, or where I'm having to do high volume. And then also this is my favorite to use on the back of a balloon when I'm trying to put it onto a um, fabric backdrop. So what I'm gonna do for you guys real quick, let's go to this next set. Um, what questions do you guys have about the magnets um, as I get ready to show you this demo? What questions do you have? Okay, so one of my tricks is like for graduation coming up, I love this metallic smile face with the happy graduation on the cap. This might be something that would look really cool um, up on a piece of fabric, right? So, April, did you have a question? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I you was talking. I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, I noticed someone had put a question that I had in the chat about, you know, what what could you potentially charge for, you know, having to to put um to install the ceiling chandeliers. Cool. Yep. I will. Go right back to that question in just one second. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys with the magnet real quick. And I know it's clear tape, but I'm doing it on purpose because it's going on a balloon. I'm going to take my small magnet. I'm going to put my transparent scotch tape through the ring. And then wherever I want this balloon to be able to attach to the fabric backdrop, I'm just going to go right between his eyes for now. I'm going to do what's called H taping. So there's a piece of tape. It's going from here to here. And then H taping means we just back up that item so that it won't be pulled off. So I'm putting a piece of tape up here and then I'm putting a piece of tape below. And like I said, you can use a piece of metal on the other side of the fabric or you can just use a second magnet. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that this is a piece of fabric. <laughs> and now we're gonna take this smiley face and we're gonna take our other magnet on the other side of that fabric. And now we're able to hang it up onto the backdrop. All right. So what I love about this is it doesn't damage any of the fabric. Cause so many times people are like, how do I use a safety pin on the fabric? So again, I'm just taping with H tape, the magnet on the back, and then being able to put it with the magnet on the other side of the fabric. So that has helped me out a ton to not have to use helium in different situations. And then also like if you're trying to do letters like LHS for this high school or 2023, you can now do that and you can easily scoot things up and down on the fabric to have it go exactly where you want it to go. So that right there is worth the price of admission. It's an awesome, awesome tip. Um, I want to go ahead and show you guys the hang tabs real quick so I don't forget about that. And so just one second, let me grab my other balloon here. So, one thing is, is when you're making your ceiling chandeliers and like we had talked about earlier with ceiling chandeliers the starting price typically for a 20 inch or 18 inch balloon is 15 dollars, and the starting price for three foot is 25 dollars each and now if you're adding things like linking balloons and other things you're going to go up to 35 65 like a three foot with a collar um, and ribbon, I know many people in um, areas that get $65 to $75 for that. And I'll show you that pricing guide in just a minute. Um, so oftentimes with stars, there's not a point at the top. I mean, there's not an attachment point at the top. 
And my biggest pet peeve is when people are doing an under the sea, I'm sorry, an under the stars prom or New York City prom or any kind of event and they hang their stars upside down. It drives me crazy. Or like if you walk in somewhere and the flag is upside down or, you know, any of the designs and you're hanging them upside down or sideways, what you want to do is use hang tabs. So um, let's see, I'm making sure you're not. So hang tabs, H-A-N-G, T-A-B-S. They're a product made by Click Click. Most balloon distributors carry them. And what I like to do with mine is actually cut the sheets in half. They are a higher priced item, but I'm telling you, I never leave home without them. We use them at Summit. I use them on jobs all the time. So it comes in this larger piece, all right? It's a longer strip right here. And then what happens is, let me go here. I'm gonna make sure that you guys are seeing me. View speaker. All right, so when you have this piece, as I like to cut it in half so you get even more from it. So when you cut it in half, you end up with a top piece that has the whole tab, all right? And then you get a piece that doesn't have the tab. And what I do with this is I take the hang tab sticky. I'm working on making an attachment point right in the middle of this hat. So what I'm going to do is just center it and tape it here, making sure that I have a little bit of adhesive still left on the top. So this piece is still sticky right up here. And then I'm going to take that other half of my hang tab that I cut that doesn't have a hoop and go right underneath that hole and put what's called tape on tape. So this piece of tape is here and it's going down on the other side of the balloon. This now allows this to hang straight. Sometimes people make the mistake and only put the hang tab on one side. And I used to do it where I used two hang tabs, but that's wasteful. So with this, you're just putting your hang tab with a little bit of adhesive area. So half of it goes this way, half this way. And if this is having to stay up for a period of time or you're dealing with humidity, I do a backup with my H taping. So I'm taking a piece of transparent scotch tape and I'm putting it right here. <laughs> and I'm taking another piece of transparent scotch tape on the other as backup. Again, I'm just a person that likes to always be safe. Typically you wouldn't need this, but I don't want to chance it when I'm getting paid good money to do this. And now you've got a great attachment point to put your loop line or your fishing line in this to then hang it with a magnet from the ceiling. So those are hang tabs and it's a great way to make a attachment point when you don't have an attachment point somewhere else on your balloon where you need it. So I wanted to make sure I show that real quick before I answer other questions. So I showed you guys the hang tabs. I showed you guys um the different size of magnets and if you've ever been to any conference if you've been to balloon boss summit in orlando dig back through your goodie bag and get out the goodie bags that you get from quick click all right and um some of the older ones they even have like a flip book that tells you about the product they have a sample of their balloon bond um they have samples of the different sizes of magnets and then they have what's called loop line and what is called um marked line and so i just want to explain what that is real quick marked line is set up for those of you who work with helium still and with the um, mark line um, it allows you to know where to put your 11 inch balloons when you are doing what's called a string of pearls arch so i know you might not be able to see this but there's a piece of black right there on the line and then the next piece of black is over here so that's the exact amount that you need to put your 11 inch balloons on the line to make a string of pearls. So some of you have gotten this before as a sample and I'll say sample marked line 11 inch. Um, they also make one for 16 inch. Um, it's a lifesaver when you don't wanna have to measure things out. And then I wanted to show you how loop line works. Um, what's nice about loop line is you're not having to sit there and tie knots. So there are some installations where I use loop line and other times where I just use fishing line totally up to you and what you like. But what's nice about this is remember how I told you I like to do things at different heights. Well, what you can do now is you can have one and you can say, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. And I can say, I want 
half of my balloons to be seven loops from the ceiling. And then we're going to do the other ones where they're 10. So I'm going to go here to here. That's my seven. And then now you've got things at two different lengths hanging down from the ceiling. What works great with loop line is you're going to take the loop line and with my hang tab, I'm going to put it right into that hole. All right, putting the loop line through the hole. And now the last piece, the last loop, I'm tightening that down. All right. And now where this loop is, I'm putting my magnet. And what's cool about this is now you're not having to tie a dozen knots. All right. You're not having to um, spend a bunch of time taking knots off. I just put all my magnets away. Sorry about that. So now what you do is you just take this last loop that's going to be going up to the ceiling, open it up, take your uh, what I call like the keychain part of your um, magnet and put it on just like you do with your keys. And now you're ready to go up to the ceiling with your mag pole. And then when you bring it down, instead of having to cut things, remember how I told you about the job that we did over and over and over again for five years, the exact same job? Well, now what I did at the end of that event is I just took my magnet off and then I was able to take those star balloons, get the air in them, and I just threw them in a large um, balloon bag and hung them up to the ceiling at my warehouse. And then the next year, when it was time for those same balloons to go up in the ceiling, I brought it down. I might have to put a puff of air in here with my hand pump and then put it back right onto my magnet. So for those of you who didn't see the earlier part of our ceiling chandelier installation, is if you take your magnet put it into your loop line or I tie loops on my fishing line instead of doing um, knots. It makes it great um, doing the loops. Now I'm gonna take that onto my mag pole. And when you get your mag pole, you have to buy your mag mover separate. It's a real sad day when you buy your mag pole and you don't have your mag mover. <laughs> so always have either a single head or a dual head. I usually carry both in the vehicle. And now you just put this flat on top of the mag pole and go right up to your ceiling to your metal. All right. And then at the end, you're just taking your um, squiggly part here that looks like a corkscrew. You're going right into your magnet and pulling it down. And to the, it saves you time not having to go up on ladders and time is money. All right, guys. So what questions do you have for me? Um, all right. Um, Kay is saying that loop line is awesome. Um, a lot of people are using it for their ceiling chandeliers. That's awesome. And then, like I said, I want to show you what I do with fishing line. If you don't have loop line, but I know you won't be able to see it if I do it with clear. So I'm going to do it in lime green. All right. And so what I'll do if I have fishing line and not loop line is I'll take my line I'll um, roll it over, make a bunny ear in it, and just do a regular overhand knot with that, right? So I've got my loop now that I can put my magnet on. And then like if this is on the fishing line, I'll pull it out and I usually like to measure it. Like I'm gonna make them to be to my, um, you know, from my fingers to my shoulder today, or I'm gonna make it across my chest, or I'm gonna make it two arms long. If you do a measurement on your body, it makes it really easy for you to copy it over and over again. And so then when you get to that length that you want at the other end, I'm going to do that loop there. And so now you can do the same concept of um, putting your loop onto your balloon um, and then putting your magnet into your loop. So again, that's what I would do if I was doing it in a fishing line. All right, so let's see. Question. I have one pole. I feel like two poles would be really helpful. Has anyone purchased a standard um, painting pole from Home Depot or Lowe's and attached the head? You want to make sure if you do that, that you take it with you. <laughs> 
If you do that, you want to make sure that you take the um, mag mover, the head with you to make sure that it fits because not all of them um, are the same. So that would be my number one tip on that. All right. So guys, do you have any other questions for me? Going into my chat. Uh, for those of you who are watching this as a replay, you can always send me a question at joette at balloon I'll be glad to help you out. And guys, as I keep talking, if you have other questions, type them in there. I want to be as much help as possible. Um, if you're looking for ongoing training and support to increase your skills and confidence as a balloon artist, I want to invite you to go to ballooncoach.com and check out Balloon Boss Mastermind. Balloon Boss Mastermind is an ongoing training program. You can stay a month or you can stay for years. It's totally up to you. I have people who've been with me since 2015. I've been in the balloon industry since 2003. I have tons of mentors that have done training within our program that you can listen to and be encouraged and inspired to take the next step in how to make market and sell balloons and be able to be surrounded around uplifting people to help you take the next step so if you're interested in that just go to ballooncoach.com check on mastermind you join today and if 30 days from now you're not liking the program right before that 30-day charge goes on just go in and cancel at any time as long as you stay in the program you have access to over five thousand dollars of online training and support the other thing that i want to invite you guys is i believe wholeheartedly and um in-person training. This is my husband and my daughter. My husband's a teacher um, here in Florida. My daughter is now 23. She was four when I started the business. Um, and then this is a group of people hanging out and working on our vision boards at Balloon Boss Summit last year. Um, this year we have 31 instructors. 31 instructors is amazing because we have so many extra people who are supporting the event this year. So if you're wanting to hear from balloon professionals who have home-based businesses like Sarah Meyer, to people who have warehouse bases like Jonathan Gerber being sponsored by Vitalik and Sympertex. Paul Ann Gray is being sponsored by Jamar. She not only has a warehouse space and does rentals and um, fabric decor, um, but she also just um, purchased a venue. Um, what I love about having a diverse staff is you get to talk to these people to see if it's something you want to do. Charlie and Tammy, when they first came to me, um, they were um, just moving from home based into a warehouse and over the years they have doubled their um, revenue, which is awesome. Eve Antonello from Pioneer Balloon Company is on the team this year teaching some twisted accents along with doing the CBA exam. Tiffany from Confetti Castle will be sponsored by Tough Tex. She is in a warehouse space where people can pick up if they need. She has an amazing team. Wisconsin Balloon Decor, we talked about Sarah Minigo being home base. Jeff Kelly with Biz, um, Balloon Suite, he helps you with your online presence and websites. Balloons by Tommy, co-owner Scott DeLorenzo, who's been in charge of all of their expansions with their business. Um, Scott will be back again this year on stage being sponsored by Brody's Wholesale. Um, animated Art Balloons, Tabitha Miller will be sponsored by Having a Party. And I'm sharing these names of these companies so that you know the manufacturers and the distributors who help support the industry. Stephanie Colfield will be um, sponsored by High Float and she has a storefront. I'll be seeing her this summer when I'm on my summer teaching um, mastermind tour. Premium Conlin with the amazing balloon inflators will be sponsoring Liz Romani. Linda Barrier is being sponsored by Toy World. She's been in the business over 20 years, has an amazing warehouse space that her staff work out of. Um, Jonathan Fudge with Your Total Entertainment and Events um, is um, going to be there, sponsored by the Balloon Guild. And then Balloons by Misty with Balloontags.com. Let Nicole help. Helps out with your online um, customer management systems. Today's Balloons. Um, is Mauricio, who's an amazing um, designer, and he is sponsored by Balloons to Go. Bill Allen, we just got a new sponsor of LA Balloons, uh, was just announced this week, um, and he'll be talking about car dealerships. And so again, magnets to the ceiling, how you can make a lot of money out of air-filled balloons. Kelly Andrews today helps you out with stress management. Above the rest, balloon and event designs. Um, we'll be sharing about sales techniques. She has just broken over the $500,000 a year. Sheila Fluker has multiple store locations and she'll talk about how she trains her staff to be able to go out and serve their customers because there's not as many people that come in for make and take as the people they go out and work with. And she's going to be talking about um, how to help you with your um, 
business credit if you're looking at getting some credit to help expand your business. Gary Ledbetter, he is amazing and he will be helping behind the scenes with rigging and coordinating everything for our dinner on Wednesday night, which will be an under the sea theme. Holland is going to be coming back. Um, and I just realized her name's on there twice rather than her company. Balloons by Holland. Uh, I mean, Flowers by Holland and uh, Balloonacy. She is amazing. And we'll be teaching you guys how to make flowers. Gift Gallery of Vienna is Victoria West. And she'll be talking about putting those extra flares into your designs with um, awesome ribbon. Dory Saypool is going to be coming back and helping us with greeting all of our new folks. Last year, she did an awesome event on mitzvahs. Kelly Minkowski will help us start our mornings with some extra um, exercise. Um, she also will be putting systems in place to grow your business. Um, we love Eddie Hayland, who helps you with what's your next step. Mindy Ellis will also be helping with twisting. Jenny Porter and Melissa Vincent will also be doing our um, amazing professional photography again this year. So um, they do the style shoots to help out our photographers. The CBA exam will be on Saturday, November 4th. So anybody who's already got their ticket to the summit or been thinking about it, I encourage you guys to come in Friday night or early Saturday morning so that you can do hands-on bills and get ready. We're gonna have a dinner um, event on Sunday night this year to kick things off also. And um, we're going to be making this amazing garden theme, um, life over life size decor, butterflies, flowers, and so much more. Um, and so if you want to get your CBA exam, you can also do that on Saturday. So guys, I just wanted to let you know that this is your time to soar with your business and that you can always take that next step. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. And I just wanted to remind you guys that today because so many times I hear people having self-doubts of like, Joette, I don't know if I can seal a set, um, sell a ceiling chandelier for $15 for you know a 20 inch balloon or what, $25 for a three foot balloon? Wow, that seems awful high, I'm not sure. And you just have to believe, right? And then when you surround yourself by other people and you can hear their real numbers and what they're charging for things, it helps inspire you and encourage you to take that next step. So I just want to make sure that you take out all the opportunities in the industry to learn from other people, hands-on or um, online, so you can take the next step in your business. Isabella is saying she cannot wait for Summit. So guys, I wanted to give you time to think about your questions, and I want to go back to what questions do you have about Click Click Magnet. Um, and then what I will do, like I do for all of our live trainings, is I will turn off the recording and I'll answer other people's Q&As about anything. So if you have a question about the Magpoles, go ahead and ask a question now. Oh, yes. One of the great things that is out there is that Magpoles do now come in different lengths. So they do have a short eight foot pole. And then they also have the green giant, which will go to even taller ceilings. The thing about the green pole, it is much heavier. So I like having the balloon one, the blue one that I currently love the most and goes from five foot three to 18 foot ceilings. That's if you were having it on the ground. When you go to lift it up, you can actually go to like a 19 to 21 foot ceiling, depending on how tall you are. But if you just want this to rest on the ground and hit the ceiling, then it's 18 feet. Robina, who is the founder of the Magpole, one of the things that she taught me is the Magpole was set, made so that you keep it on the ground so that you don't have to work your upper body so much. And so that's part of the weight of the Magpole is so that it stays stable on the ground while you're holding it and then always work from your top level first. Sometimes I see people pushing the bottom button first. You want to always start with the top button first and let this telescoping piece out all the way before you do the other piece. And then you want to have the magic of the click. When it goes up, you wanna hear it click. I'm gonna do that one more time without talking. You wanna hear that click of it clicking into position before you go to the next telescoping piece. All right? So guys, um, when you have other questions about the Click Click Magpole, for those of you who are in Balloon Boss Mastermind, you can ask me that. And Balloon Business Startup, Balloon Coach Community, those are my other groups for my non- uh, members of Mastermind, um, just ask me the questions you have. Uh, another person told me that their ceiling decor, um, they do for $15 to $30 per, per balloon. That's awesome. Um, yes, and the new silver balloon, the new silver buttons are new. They've had several different versions of the Magpoles over the year, and Robina with Click Click is amazing to always listen to people's questions and um, 
to keep improving things. So again, guys, if you have questions, email me joette at balloonpoach.com. If you want to jump into training, go to balloonpoach.com. And I just want to show you guys real quick before I answer our non questions is I want to go right here is on balloonpoach.com. There is a place that you can do a 10 minute free conversation with me. So here you can listen to Jamie and several other people tell you about how the mastermind program has helped them double their sales over and over again. Or right here you can go and you can book a 10 minute consultation with me to ask questions. And then if you're like, hey, Joette, I'm just ready. <laughs> you can just go right here to join mastermind or you can click the button to join us at Summit and that will let you see all the information about Summit, how you can do the hands on balloon building and the business building conversations that will help you take the next step in your business. So all of that's at ballooncoach.com. And what I'm going to do now is say thank you to everybody who joined us live. I'm going to turn off the recording and to allow people to ask me questions about anything. And that is a part of our Balloon Boss Mastermind program, kind of a sneak peek, is if you join Balloon Boss Mastermind, we have four live trainings a month. And at the end of those live trainings, I always open it up for people to have that conversation so you can, can feel connected with other people and know you're not alone in your business journey. So let me see if I can put the right thing on the 